Use the Soundex coding system to encode the last name, Schmidt. Many steps to the Soundex coding system. Let's go through this step by step. Uh, the first step is to eliminate any H's or W's that are within that last name. In this case, we do have one. is the H. So now step two, we're going to encode all the other letters uh, using uh, that key that you have in your course pack. So I'm just going to go through and do that. Uh, the S is encoded as a 2. The C is encoded also as a 2. The H is not there anymore. Uh, the M is a 5. All vowels are zeros. The D is a 3. And T is also a 3. Okay, the third step is then look for any adjacent repeating digits. In this case, we have two. We have twos and threes. And we're going to eliminate all but one of them. And so that leaves us with two, five, zero, and three. Now step four tells us to eliminate the first letter unless it was already eliminated in step one. And the way it would have been eliminated in step one is if the name began with an H or a W. So in this case, it doesn't. So we're just going to go ahead and eliminate the first letter, leaving us with 5, 0, 3. Step 5, then we eliminate all zeros, leaving us with just a 5 and a 3. And then the last step is to take the first three remaining digits, in this case we only have two. And in doing so, uh, we'll have to append zeros until we get three digits, which would be 5, 3, and 0. So on uh, Schmidt's driver's license number, We know that the first uh, letter is the last name's first letter, so S, and then 5, 3, and 0. Again, this is for Michigan's driver's license, I should say. Uh, the next one would be encoding the first name, then the middle name, and the birth date. Uh, this video is just about encoding the last name.